Hello and welcome back. Today in this session, we are going to see the application flow in general and how the UIs are going to be. So, basically, as we have said before, we will have two types of accounts. Organizer account, or let's say a business account, and a normal user account. If the profile is related for a specific organizer, then uh, the user is able to create an event, manage events in general, receive ticket, uh, tickets, uh, receive CVs that want to apply for jobs, and the check reports and dashboard contain some chart and such details about the business flow. If the profile is a normal user, then he can check events, uh, reserve tickets, check the wish list, and apply for jobs by um, submitting a CV for a specific organizer. So, let's see that in details. Basically, this is going to be the welcome page of our application. The user can log in or create a new account if he's using the application for the first time. This is going to redirect the user to the Azure Active Directory P2C page so he can create an account, register, or log in with his existing one. But about choosing the type of the profile if he is, um, if he is an organizer or he is a normal user, this won't going to be on the level of Azure P2C because this is going to require using some uh, uh, custom attribute, custom roles, and it's going to make things complicated on the level of the Azure P2C. And I think it's going to be for not made, uh, uh, not free uh, plans for Azure Active Directory. It's going to require more job. While I prefer to do that from our side, so we can have more control over that. After the user logins or creates a new account, he can. Uh, he will see this UI. Basically, it will ask him to create organizer profile, complete this one, or complete uh, the profile by submitting the rest of the uh, <coughs> user info. So, if the user creates an organizer profile, he is going to be redirected to this page. He will see dashboard contains some charts and statistics about the business, how it's going, how is the number of uh, tickets reserved beer day, for example, and the other set of reports. Then. He had the event section while uh, from this page he can create new events, edit existing one or delete, and check the history of events. Another section is to, she, uh, to see the sold tickets by the user. He can get all the info and the number of uh, users who paid tickets and see that tickets. At the end, he can receive uh, job requests from uh, normal users with attachments. And those attachments are going to be secure, so only the owner of this uh, business can see the attachments. Even if another organization get the UI, get the URL of this attachment, they cannot open it. So this is going to give you the opportunity to learn about many things as we have mentioned here, create pictures. Here we are going to have a bill for notifications. Everything is going to be in real time. Every update is going to be within the application, like receiving an, um, uh, let's say, um, t uh, ticket or applying for a job. This is going to be update the UI in the real time for the organizer. So, yeah, this is in general. Now, if a normal user logs in into the system, he's going to see something like this. Home page, which is the, the feed of the events. He can see the events as tickets, and here he can uh, search for, and there's going to be a little complicated search. It's going to search multiple things. And this feed is not going to be the same for all the users. For example, if the user hits like multiple times for events that are related to sport, so the next time we are trying to pick only the sport events for him. So this is because this is what this is the interest of the user. So it's going to be more engagement and uh, more engagement experience. Here is going to be a button to add the event for the wish list, and here is going to be the cover of the event and other details. And this button is to move for the uh, reserving a ticket for this event. Basically, again, here we're going to see all the details of the event, the like button. So we will use it to indicate what the user will li likes and dislikes. And wish list button. The reserve button is going to reserve a ticket for this user. Then after that, we are going to generate that ticket as an image, dynamic image. We are going to generate it at runtime. And so the user can install it and save it with the QR code and other details. So, another section in the user's profile is going to be my wish list, so he can check the event that he liked to reserve a ticket in the near future. They are going to be the same and go with the same flow. Another section which is my tickets, in general, it's the history of tickets that this user bought 
in the last period. And the last one is apply for a job. He can submit some details, choose an attachment, CV attachment, and choose a specific organizer to apply for. And in this case, the, uh, the organizer is going to receive the CV. Basically, those concepts are going to cover um, many, many things, or in general, everything you require to, 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 be able to learn so you, can, you are able to build a business application that contains uh, good business logic, good level of complexity of business logic, and deliver the power of all the services that Microsoft Azure provides for us and other things, especially, and also dealing with the API, building a opposite one, also secured and, uh, yeah, uh, contains good functionality, and at the end, developing a great UI with a blazer that serves all the requirements that we have talked about. If you enjoyed this, and you are motivated for that, I highly recommend you move to the next video, and let's start designing the ARD of the database.